Hey kids, happy Wednesday. We are here today talking about yet another week of our Lord's Prayer study. And um, when the disciples asked Jesus to teach them to pray, what he taught them was the Lord's Prayer, right? It helps us too. It wasn't just for them, them. It's an example of the things that we can talk to God about, okay? So let's review what we've learned about the Lord's Prayer. Ready? We learned our Father who art in heaven, right? God is our Father. He is in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. God is holy, right? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, right? On earth as it is in heaven. God's kingdom and God's will be, will be done and is being done on earth and in heaven. And we can be a part of making that happen, right? Give us this day our daily bread that God provides for all of our needs and that we should ask him to provide for our needs. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, right? Help us forgive us when we fail and when we sin and also help us to forgive others, right? When, when wrong is done against us. Okay, now, today's part of the Lord's Prayer is lead us not into temptation, right? So, do you know what the word temptation means? We're going to talk about it a little bit, okay? We're going to pray first. Let's pray. Dear God, every day we make choices. Sometimes we choose the right thing, but other times doing wrong seems easier. Or more fun. Temptations crowd around us, leading us away from your path. Keep us close to you and give us strength to choose what is right. Amen. All right. A temptation is when we have that feeling that there is something that we want to do or we should do, but maybe that thing is not what God wants for us right? So I'm going to look up a Bible verse. We are going to be looking in, oops, as soon as I can get my Bible to pull up here, we are going to be looking in James, right? That's in the New Testament. And we're going to look in James chapter 1, verse 13. And we're going to read 13, 14, and 15. You ready? It says, no one who is tested should say, God is tempting me. This is because God is not tempted by any form of evil, nor does he tempt anyone. Everyone is tempted by their own cravings. They are lured away and enticed by them. Once those cravings conceive, they give birth to sin. And when sin grows up, it gives birth to death, right? Now, that's that's a lot to think about, right? Especially if you're on the younger side of things, okay? But the things I want you to remember are that God is not who tempts us, right? God does not want us to make bad choices. God loves us. God wants good for us and from us. Temptation is what happens between doing what is right or doing what is wrong, that space in between that making of that choice, okay? So if I am looking, oops, it's upside down. If I am looking at God, right, and I am doing what's right, I am not sinning, right? If you're looking at God, if you're following after God, and if you're doing what God wants, you are not sinning, right? What's something that might tempt me to look away from God and stop doing what is right? Hmm, what about if I don't want to do what's right? What if I just think that it would be more fun to lie to someone, right? Because I don't want to get in trouble, right? So if I think about doing this wrong thing, I start to turn away from God, right? So there's starting to be distance between me and God here because God says that we should not lie right? That we should tell the truth. But I don't know if I want to do that because I don't want to get in trouble, right? I'm thinking about whether I should do 
what is right or if I should do what is wrong, which is to sin, right? So I'm kind of trying to decide which one of those things do I want to, to give my, my choices to? Do I want to give my choices to God, right, and do the right thing? Or do I want to give my choices to sin and, and do the wrong thing? Okay, so this middle time where I don't know what I'm going to do, that is being tempted. That is what a temptation is, is, oh man, I know God says I shouldn't lie, but I really think this would help me out, right? When I don't know which one of those things I'm going to do, am I going to follow God? I'm going to do what I want. That's temptation, okay? So this verse reminds us that it is our own desires that turn us from God and let us choose sin. God doesn't tempt us, right? In fact, God can give us strength so that we don't sin. Did you know that? So there's one more spot in the Bible we're going to look at, and this one is in 1 Corinthians. Okay, and 1 Corinthians is also in the New Testament. Okay, and we're going to look in verse chapter 10, verse 13. Okay, and it says, no temptation has seized you that isn't common for people, but God is faithful. He won't allow you to be tempted beyond your ability. Instead, with the temptation, God will also supply a way out so that you will be able to endure it. Okay, so the Bible says that God will provide a way out for us when we are tempted, right? That means that when we think about doing something that's wrong, that we know God doesn't want for us, there's always a choice that will let us do what God wants, what is right. May not be an easy choice, but the important thing is we have that choice and we get to make it for ourselves, right? All right, we'll pick back up with this again tomorrow and um, miss you guys. Hope to see you soon. Bye.